One of the most important things to take from this week is that although research provide all sorts of claims in their articles, you should not accept everything that you read. Now it's important to review the evidence and determine if they are presenting data, one that is viewed, supports what they're saying. As we will later get into in research methods, you will find that the manner in which they collected their data should give you pause to end up blindly accepting their claims. Methods need to be sound, data needs to be collected that actually represents the variables that they are trying to measure. Now last week you selected an article pertinent to your research topic and you deconstructed it into its primary elements. Now this exercise provided an opportunity to see how the individual elements are brought together into a cogent work. Next week in week four, you will be asked to write a literature review in which you must select appropriate resources, read them critically, and arrange them into a coherent manner in context of your own research topic. Most research projects include a literature review to determine what knowledge exists on the subject under study and to develop a theoretical framework that will be used in the study. The literature review sets the context for the entire research project by explaining what others may have found in researching the same or similar specific research questions. The literature review is written in a narrative format and begins with an introductory paragraph in which the writer frames the research topic and its significance and the puzzle that the researcher is trying to address. To do that, the writer will summarize the major relevant arguments on the research subject, highlighting the main issues on how schools of thought may differ. If there are key terms to be defined, this is where you'll do that. Now, the body of the literature review tells the readers what others have found in the studies of their specific research question that they're looking at. It also provides a critique that you may see as the author of what's right or wrong with the other studies and then discuss how the work is distinguishable from the research study that you are proposing. The conclusion should summarize the primary sense of literature, encapsulating for the reader where the existing literature ends and your research will start. Now as you seek to do the questions and research questions, you'll actually be able to do this when you review the literature. Now I want you to be sure that you see the example that I've posted in the announcements area. Click on that and take a look at it. I think it will help you as you form your own review of the literature. So, we've got a lot to do this week. Uh, let's get started on it.